Hello guys, welcome back to another video with me, Super Fudge 247 and today my friends, we are back inside of my world, but today it's a little bit different. As you can see, we are inside of a mobile world, yes, I know, I said to you guys I would never make this into a series, but look, here I am now making it into a damn series, so hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I cannot wait for you guys to uh, to watch this and tell me how you guys are feeling and tell me what you think of this series. But yeah, so uh, today my friends, what I wanted to do uh, was show you guys the 1.4 update or some more of the 1.4 update that is because we've already been looking at it. It's been awesome and I have also been adapting to the new layout because if you guys don't know the people that make this are called Doctor Studios and they have taken over the production of the Xbox One version of Terraria and they'll most probably be involved in all of the console versions across the board now that Pipework Studios are gone. With that being said the view that you're seeing right now is the way that we're going to be playing Terraria. That means there's going to be a lot more buttons and things are going to be changing. The interface is going to be changing on the console. And what you can see right now, although this is mobile, I have basically set it up to look just like how it will uh, when it eventually comes out for the console update. So as you can see, the HUD is one of the most important things here that is changed compared to the normal mobile version. Uh, this is actually an option. As you can see, uh, I've got it going horizon horizontal rather than vertical. Now this is an option for anybody wondering, going, oh, this isn't the mobile version. Well, it is. It's an option inside of here. So the hot bar can be changed to vertical which will do this with it, which I personally don't like. It's probably going to be okay if you're not like me, a big noob who uses a controller. Uh, but if you use a controller like I do, then I highly suggest uh, that you are going to need to change that to horizontal. Now, I think that for console, that should just be standard. That's the way it should be. Now, I think they may have kept it like that on the console version, and hopefully they do, because that is just the way to look at it, in my opinion. That's always been the way the HUD on Terraria should be, uh, and it only makes sense for it to stay that way. So, anyways, um, yes, yeah, so there's that, and then they've also changed the layout of how we use everything inside of here. So, now, the right bumper and left bumper on the controller, or R1 and L1, are a little bit different. It works like pages on each side. So if I press RB, uh, that will toggle us between the chat, uh, the equipment, and then obviously because I'm playing journey mode, duplication, which I can then press my RS stick down, my right stick, and that will change over to my crafting. So yeah, when you're in journey mode, you obviously click down on the right stick and it will change between crafting and duplication. Whereas on the current update, the crafting is actually down in the very far hand of the left hand corner, the very far left hand corner. Um, but right now, uh, that is going to be changing. So another thing we also have is if you press on the LB or the um, L1 buttons, then that will also change over between housing and your inventory. Now to bin things as well is a little bit different because currently on console you click it and you press X or you press X like that. You know what I mean? So and it bins it into the trash. Well now to trash something you have to click it and then press it down on the D-pad and that gets rid of it. So yeah it's a little bit different. It has definitely changed um, but do you know what these are things that I thought I would never get used to but I am getting used to it and it ain't taking too long. So that's why uh, I'm basically playing with the controller. One, because I have extremely big hands. I was going to use my girlfriend's tablet today, um, but honestly, her tablet runs like a snail. My hands are so big, it's, it just doesn't work with a small device or even on my girlfriend's tablet. So, you know, I had to use a controller. Um, so here we are right now with a controller. So what we're going to be doing in today's video uh, is we are actually going to be going uh, for a little mining trip. And I'm going to give you some tips on how journey mode could be really efficient for you if you're playing on it um, so one of the things that I want to show you guys is the journey options so that's here right here the journey options you go you press the start menu go down to journey and this is basically where your host privileges are uh, where you can change the time uh, you can also 
do this time speed so if you want to do that all the way up to time 24 which I don't think you're going to want to do uh, if you want to play this how I want to play it because today I want to play journey mode a little bit like an adventure really where yes you know you still have to craft but it feels a little bit less grindy which is what is nice about journey mode you can sit back and relax with it so today I'm still going to have it as a challenge though uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm not going to allow myself to play with the time settings or the wind or the rain or anything like that but the one thing I am going to do and I've already done it as you can see is I've changed the difficulty so uh, oh yeah and also the spawn rate so as you can see I've already changed the spawn rate I haven't changed difficulty I just remembered I haven't changed difficulty uh, but what I will change is the spawn rate now I had done it already uh, because I just released obviously I just recorded the video and it went so wrong I literally had no audio um, so yeah it's 0 0.10 uh, and I did change up to 0 0.50 but yeah, I noticed it wasn't too spawny so nothing really spawned and the highest it can go is 10 so I'm probably gonna do for a little challenge just to see what it's like I'm gonna change it up to 2.08 and that is just hopefully going to make it quite fun for me uh, in terms of mobs that are going to spawn. I'm not going to mess with the difficulty because it's already going to be quite difficult anyway because of the stage that I'm at. I don't really have a ton of items. Um, but it's not going to be so hard during the day. Uh, the hardest places that I'm going to be struggling is probably under the ground uh, and also at night time up here on the surface. But yeah, this game looks so beautiful. It's running really well. I've not found a single bug at the moment as of... Uh, myself, but then I haven't really been that far into the game as you can see I'm basically at the same point as a lot of you guys who are most probably playing this new update uh, I've also heard that a lot of you guys are quite worried about the update not reaching you um, So yeah, that has been a bit of an issue um, since they released the update uh, But they have noticed the issue and it is now going to be with you guys by Friday everybody across all platforms uh, besides X Xbox and console, obviously this excludes consoles, um, should have this update available to them. Those who have mobile devices, uh, Apple TV, that sort of thing, will be able to get them get their hands on the 1.4 update. Um, also, I did do a video yesterday, and you guys were amazing. You left some amazing feedback. You were really, really nice, and honestly, it's just so nice uh, to see my community come together uh, to say some really nice things. So hopefully, my friends, over the next week or so. Uh, I will be recording this almost every day for you uh, and what I want to do after I've recorded this today because it's the 21st as of today recording um, what I want to do is get this video up it's going to be a little bit rough the uh, first few episodes might be a little bit rough um, but as we uh, go through it uh, what I want to do is spend a whole day uh, where I just like advance myself and then I will show you guys what I've been up to, how much progress I've made uh, and then you guys can uh, watch us as we go on to fight bosses because I want to fight some bosses in this, you know, I, do I don't plan to do this series um, all the way up to every single boss and all the way up to Moon Lord, uh, I hope not but I might do, it depends if you guys want to see it, if you guys do then please do tell me, I mean I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, but only if the demand is there to do it. Um, but yeah, I don't plan to do something like that. At the moment, I just plan to take it a little bit slow uh, and just play as we go along. Also, my character does not look like me at all. And I need to change that. And I can't wait until I get a, a pair of dresses, like um, some drawers. And then I can change my outfit and the, the color of it and the design. Because at the moment, it doesn't look anything like me. The one thing that isn't going to look like me as well is the hair. Um, and, the only, and you're probably wondering, why don't you just create new character then uh, but it's because I've done research already and I don't want to lose all of my research that I've currently made uh, or progress so yeah but anyways first of all we need some platforms so I don't want the duplication menu I'm going to take that away uh, as you can see you just press the right stick to do so and I have some other options as well for arrows which would be an awesome thing to do uh, which is to get some jester arrows because at the moment I have a bow and my bow is a wooden bow it's not so great um, but I also only have regular arrows so having some jester arrows and being able to duplicate them too may make my adventure a little easier so first of all what we're going to do uh, is we are going to obviously make some platforms because I need to get myself over to that iron. If you can see that deposit of iron uh, right over there, then that's where we need to get. So I love how you can just zoom in and out of this game uh, really easily with the RB and uh, the forward and on the D-pad. It's so nice. Uh, I actually really love this version. And honestly, Doctor Studios, you guys have done such a great job with this update. It's amazing. Honestly, you've done a really good job. You should give yourselves a big pat on the back. 
You should have a cake from Super Fudge, a cake from everyone in the community. But honestly, you have done such a great job with this update. And it's it doesn't see, it feel very buggy at all. It feels very, very nice to play. Um, so yeah, they've done a really good job indeed. And I can't wait until we... And they got it out so fast. That's the other thing. They got it out so fast and it's not buggy. It's really good. So I can't wait uh, to see what they do for the Xbox version. I'm wondering if they're going to port it over. So like... Essentially, get rid of the Pipework Studios one uh, or current like worked version of Terraria, and just sort of like replace it, uh, but allow like the old worlds and the old content to work with it. I don't know how that would work, um, but I think the code and everything must be very similar. I, I don't know about code. I'm not like I'm a big noob, but. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So I also don't plan for these videos to be too long. So this one is going now at uh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So I do plan to end this fairly soon. Uh, but I did say to you guys that today I would give you some um, advice on how to have like a most efficient journey mode character. So the way to do it and have the most efficient uh, journey mode character for you guys, if you don't know, uh, is in, rather than researching the actual ore which takes a hundred of it um i recommend using bars because bars only take 25 and obviously they're not too hard to craft so it's only 25 bars uh, in order to be able to fully research bars and then just be able to get a ton of them so that's why my suggestion to you is keep all of your ores use them near a furnace turn them into bars and then then and only then shall you have to research them when they are actually bars and as you can see over there there is a ton of slimes that are spawning because of how i've increased the spawn rate that want to come and kill me i, I think i might what i might do i, I think it'd be a cool little challenge that every single time i've recorded i should put it up by one spawn rate percentage and then just see how mad it gets so like every single episode just increase the spawn rate and just see what it does that would be absolutely insane see if i could survive it because i doubt i'm going to be able to survive it but i might be able to uh, but it would also mean that i've got to play that way even when i'm off screen and off camera uh, but yeah we are getting up to the 12 minute marker um, so we will have to end fairly shortly, but I would like to end this on me researching something So we are just gonna hold up here um, And I do apologize to anybody who's wondering why these aren't as edited as my regular videos uh, The reason why is just because I wanted to uh, be able to get this out as fast as possible uh, Those kind of things also uh, It should sound better today than it did on my first initial video on this update as I am using my actual microphone And I have a little setup going on where I'm recording through my phone uh but i'm actually recording my voice on my computer so I, then i just go into post editing uh and then i just chuck my audio over it and, it and it just sounds a lot better so we're trying to get this uh this copper here which is proven to be a lot harder than i expected i really i need to start using my own little method here of um of these things uh what are they called platforms so yeah if we just go ahead and build along here and oh i've run out of platforms so if i just make some more and uh, we don't want to go to that housing one. There we go. And then we can, do you know, I think I will zoom in here just so that I can see because it's a lot nicer to zoom in sometimes with your character. Honestly, they've done such a good job with this update. I'm, not, I'm honestly not going to stop praising Doctor Studios for such a great job. I really am not at all going to stop because it's just been absolutely amazing so far. And it's so good because obviously I'm getting used to this now and... This is the way the new console like mapping is going to be. It's going to be just like this. So I'm going to have to get used to it eventually. And I'm able to adapt to it today. So that's very, very good news. But anyways, so let's go home. Um, and something we're going to need to do is make ourselves a furnace. Now, I don't know. I do have enough stone, yes. So we should be able to make a furnace if we go all the way home, which is just here. And I forget, I can make pumpkin armor as my first armor. I mean, it's completely useless, but it's a good first set of armor, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, we've got yo-yos as well. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the yo-yos from 1.3. Um, but yeah, I want a furnace. So can you see a furnace? Maybe I need, I need torches. I've got wood. I've got, I've got stone. So I should be able uh, to make myself a furnace, but I can't really see it here. Um, hmm, am I being a bit blind because it is a bit hard to see on this tiny little device? 
So, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm being blind. There we go. So, if we just go ahead and chuck that into my inventory. And let's go ahead and place her down then. So, up there you go. Uh, and then we can go ahead and make ourselves a turn. And I'm not messing up with the uh, the menus here. Because it is very, very, very tricky. So, here we go. But it's adaptable. So, it's nice. Anyways, here we go. We've got the copper bars. And I'm just going to... Go back over to this menu. So we've got the copper bars. Let's go ahead and make as many of those as possible. And we now have 21 copper bars. Very nice. And let's do the same with the silver bars. And let's do the same with the iron bars. Sick. So let's go ahead and research them. So research the iron bars. And it is honestly just going to make your life so much easier. And as you can see, I've got 25, 25. So I've got all of my copper right there. And now I'll have an unlimited supply of copper bars, which really is all I ever need. I don't need the um, the copper ore unless I was going to build with it, which I'm probably not going to do. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this video is going to be a little bit longer than I expected and more than I wanted it to be. But that is okay. Um, now let's go ahead and find out where I put everything oh here we go <laughs> yeah so I want to use these mana stars why not and then let's see if we can go to the duplication menu so I need to go back on this side click on that button there we go and let's have a look where the bars are it's a bit hard there are some things that are overlapping so there's definitely some areas that this game needs to improve in um, but there we go we have got ourselves tons and tons of that there um, and I can't remember can we don't think we can make armor can we yet because we're gonna need a um, I think we're gonna need a anvil an anvil yeah I've just forgot what it's called but yeah I think we need an anvil don't we um, so yeah, we don't have an anvil. I'll have to do that in another episode. But yeah, we made ourselves loads of bars. We researched them. We got toads of, uh, toads of bars. We got loads of bars. And in the next video, my friends, I will hopefully look a little bit better as well because I will change up my design. Uh, but also, my friends, um, yeah, the next episode should be good. But thank you to all of you for the support on this little mini series on the mobile. If you guys would like to see some more, then please don't forget to smash the like button. And I will see you guys all in my next video good boy die you stupid slime <laughs>